So continuing with our discussion on cutting tool materials, the fourth material that is used to make cutting tools are ceramics. And most common material among ceramics is aluminum oxide. So this is primarily fine grained material that is pressed and sintered at high pressures and high temperatures. Uh, these cutting tools using ceramic material are made using powder metallurgy and they are made in the shape of inserts as we saw uh, for carbide tools. So you could see that there are different uh, shapes of uh, ceramic inserts that are available. So in shape, they are very similar to carbide inserts, but as, uh, as this material is more brittle, uh, it is very difficult to make different patterns uh, on these inserts as we saw in the case of uh, carbide tools. So aluminum based ceramic tools have very high abrasion resistance. They are very hard and they have very high hot hardness as well. So they can maintain their hardness at very high temperatures. They're chemically more stable than high speed steel and carbide, so less chances of forming built up edge. So that is generally the case uh, for some soft materials. Uh, if the cutting tool is uh, HSS or carbide, but that problem is avoided if we are using ceramic cutting tools. On contrary, uh, these cutting tools lack toughness. They, they lack uh, toughness and more chances of premature failure by chipping or in catastrophic failure. So in order to avoid that, the problem of chipping or breaking away of the grains uh, or removal of the grains from the surface of the inserts, negative rake angles are used. So negative rake angles or large included angles are preferred in order to avoid chipping. As you saw in the case of uh, HSS, that generally positive rake angles are used because of high toughness of HSS as compared to carbides and ceramic cutting tools. So uh, these ceramic cutting tools are used for high speed, uninterrupted cutting, uh, just like uh, the turning. So turning is an example of uninterrupted cutting. And we can achieve higher speed as compared to carbides and uh, HSS tools. These are not recommended for heavy interrupted cuts, just like milling due to the low toughness. And uh, these alumina-based uh, uh, material, this aluminum oxide is widely used as an abrasive in grinding and other abrasive processes as well. So this is one of the materials actually that is used to make grinding wheels as well. 